so today I'm going to be sharing with you how to create these custom physics. I have already made a start on these so I've done kind of the start of the outsides on those if you can see there um, but I did just have Covid so I couldn't film at that point but I thought it would be a great start to show you kind of how I do the insides of the shoes and also then how I go ahead and sharpen up those details there. So the first thing that I did here was I cleaned all of the shoe before I even started doing any of the paint work and because these shoes are kind of a matte leather um, there's not a lot you need to really do and um, you can use a preparer and deglazer to take off kind of the factory shine um, but these don't really have that and um, some of the shinier shoes I do use like a really light sandpaper just to sand down um, but I find with these that they're almost pretty much ready for painting anyway so once I've done that I just make sure that I've got everything out of you know like these little bits um because they can get quite dirty inside there um and then we're basically ready to paint so when I start painting I usually always have the mock-up in front of me so I can see exactly what I'm doing and I don't make any mistakes and um, sometimes I can use a stencil and um, for this I think I'm just gonna go straight in and draw the design onto the shoe in pencil um, and then from there start adding some color so I'll show you that now all of the main colours around the shoe and for that I used a couple of different size brushes so I used a really tiny one and a slightly thicker one um, so I'm going to use a Posca pen next which is basically just Rudy saying hello um, which is basically just a paint pen so I'm going to use that to do kind of like the little leopard print areas on here and also on that side so I'll show you how I do that next and we'll go from there <laughs> details on both shoes I'm just going to add some finishes so for these ones I'm going to use the Angelus matte acrylic finisher and I usually do two or three coats of this and so I'll show you this shoe as well because this one's all finished and the finisher is just going to keep the paintwork waterproof and scratch proof as well so I'll show you how I do that next is dry that's these shoes all finished 
they're fully waterproof now and scratch proof and ready to be posted off so I'll show you a little close-up video of that at the end um, but if you do have any questions about anything that I've done so far about any of the process the finisher just let me know in the comments or you can DM me or send me an email thanks for watching Thank you.